Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The African Gypsy. I'm doing a reading for Sagittarius for the month of March. If you've been on this channel before, welcome back and thank you so much for the support. If this is the first time you've come onto this channel, welcome, welcome and please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified the next time I do post a video. Okay, Sagittarius in the month of March 2021, what do your spirit guides want you to know? Spirit angels, guys, fairies, ancestors, holy spirit, holy angels, please come to into this reading. Clear messages, please, for my Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? And even those who are not Sagittarius but have been intuitively drawn to this channel, welcome. And I know that your message is here, that's why you're on this channel. All right. I feel that in the month of March, there are a lot of new friends coming to the forefront for you. New friends, new associates, new people in your circle who are helping to achieve your hopes and your dreams. And this is a really lovely energy. I also feel that there's a bit of a dream come true coming in for you. So Sagittarius, for many of you, I feel that this is a live feed. This may be happening even right now as you're watching this video. Or it may have just started happening, or it may be just about to happen. A dream is coming true. There's a wish fulfillment, something you've hoped and you've prayed for. And I feel that you're getting a lot of divine help as well, help from spirit, your angels, and your ancestors. And it's, I get the feeling that as above, so beneath. I feel that you're also proceeding with a lot of emotional balance. You're very balanced and some of you may be grounding a lot or some of you may be working a lot with water as well. Grounding yourself on the earth and also being around water and stuff like that. Or maybe you're taking lots of baths as well. That's also possible for you. Oh, okay. For some of you, a few of you, there almost was a reconciliation or this may be happening. Some ex has come back. You've been an ex-lover, uh, an ex-friend, an ex-boss. Someone's coming back in and they're saying all the sweetest things that you could ever think of. Oh, I was wrong. I should have respected you. You're so my type of person. Perhaps we may have over overlooked the, your value in our company. And now we're reviewing the situation and na 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 That's not it at all. Someone's coming because they want something. They feel that they weren't totally done with you. Um, and they want to come back and find out a bit more. There might be quite a bit of deception. Just watch out. This is a warning against the gift of gab. A lot of slay of hand. A lot of just like really fast motions. Where someone just goes bada bing, bada boom. They move in and you're like... Oh! What happened? What just happened here? Did we just get back together? Did I just sign that contract again? One of those kinds of feelings. <laughs> it's because there's new energy that is coming in for you. So someone is watching all of that. You're reaching for the stars. Oh, sorry. That is not quite right. Um, you're reaching for the stars. And I feel for some of you, uh, you may be celebrities or you're in the public eye. You're a public person, in a, pub a public image in some way. And someone has found out that you're finally reaching the stars. They're like, ooh. Sag, is that really you? I'm sorry, you know, I shouldn't have dismissed you so quickly because now you've become all big and stuff and how am I ever going to get back into your good graces? Yeah. But I feel like you're, um, you're in a season where you're taking action. You know, the stardom or the reaching for the stars in whatever area of your life that it may play out, however it may play out for you. It didn't This didn't just come as a result of like there's been hard work, determination, prayers and divine help at hand as well. And you're full of action. You're taking action towards making your dreams come true. The queen of wands she's the one of the queens who's ready for action. See how she's sitting with the legs slightly apart, ready to just stand up and say, huh, what? Who did what? Where? That kind of an energy. So you're ready for action. You're, you're born ready. You're like, you know what? If we don't have the, the whole blueprint with us, we're going to start with what we have. and we're going to make it up as we go along. This is a message I'm hearing for someone in particular. And this is reading to... Lead, read, look, cat got my tongue. This is leading you to the stardom, to the success, to the riches, to being a very famous and well-recognized. So this is a very beautiful energy coming in for you, my darling. In the past, there were all these rumors. We've got the Knight of Cups reversed. There were all these rumors, people saying a whole lot of nonsense about you that they had no business saying. Um, there could have been a lot of lies, a lot of childish cruelty. When someone is very cruel, but in a very childish way, they haven't fully thought out their evil plan. It wasn't some evil genius plan. It was just like someone bored and, and a little bit mean. 
but it was uh, potentially costly and Spirit was saying, you know, let's ignore these rumors. Soon enough, they're going to be talking about someone else. If someone else is going to do something worse than what they say you did and people are going to forget about that story. So I feel that you rose above all these odds, Sagittarius. Oh, that's going to be the title of this. Sagittarius rose, uh, rose above the odds. So you rose above the odds and you decided, okay, I'm not going to listen to all these rumors. Uh, I'm an eagle. I'm going to fly with the eagles. I'm not going to be waddling down here with the ducks and stuff like that. Yes, they've all got feathers and stuff, but my kind of feather is kind of special. And I'm going to rise up to the highest level that I can possibly reach. And you're basically unstoppable. And um, that's why the ex is now coming in as well. It could have been the same person who said a whole lot of things about you that weren't true at all. And now he's trying to go, he or she's trying to get back into your good graces. In your current circumstances, you all may also be dealing with the energy of... Um, a Pisces, and you're being asked to trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling, trust your intuition, even when it comes to people and stuff like that. Um, a few of you, not all of you, some of you may be dealing with um, someone who's highly intuitive, a woman who's highly intuitive. This is in your current circumstances. You've got two queens coming in already. When two queens clash, see, they're not even looking at each other. They're like, what? You say, what about me? You say, what about my brother or my sister? That kind of energy. Yeah, there could be uh, someone who's very controlling in your life as well. I'm feeling for just a few of you. A female figure who's very controlling and tyrannical. The one thing's exactly their own way. And they'll even talk bad about you to other people. Um, doesn't matter how related you are. I feel this energy of this person. And you might l have a lot of love and positive emotions towards them. But they're not quite in that same frame of mind. That's not to say it will never change. Ever, 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 ever. It could change. But right now, at this moment... Mm. In the future, I see you having to defend yourself and, and almost being done with the battle and saying, you know what, I need to look at the long-term future. In two years' time, what's my life going to look like? In five years' time, what will my life look like? What do I want it to look like? And you may have to stand your ground in order to win. I, I see the, the whole natter, natter, natter still carrying on as well in the future, and you're going to need to defend yourself. I feel that for a few, oh, I heard astronauts. Okay, I haven't heard that word in a long time. So perhaps you're taking up a, a, a science or a career that the women or the men in your life, in your family were not traditionally known to take up. And with that, there's a lot of talk like, oh, he's breaking out of the norm. She's breaking out of the norm. Perhaps you're, you're a scientist and people are trying to put you back in a little box, you know, where you can just be subservient and uh, normal not cause too many ripples and you're like you know with all due respect i will disappoint my future if i don't act today on what i need to do if i don't answer the calling and become the person i'm meant to be my future is going to be disappointed with me there are people in high offices who need to meet me and if i'm not there if i'm, if I'm not present for it that's going to cause a ripple in people's destinies as well i hear this conversation for a couple of you the key is that um, there's been a very unjust situation. I feel for some of you, you've been trying to rise above the odds, but you've had some very tyrannical woman, very controlling, like a bit of a dictator kind of a female figure. It doesn't have to really be female. It could be, we've all got that yin yang, could male, female, but this person, uh, they've put a lot of burdens on you. It's been a very unfair situation. You've been putting in so much work, so much love and getting little or next to nothing in return. But I feel that... Um, there's comic justice at play where the chickens are going to come home to roost. Anyone who's been cruel to you, who's been mean to you, they're going to get their upcomings. They're going to get their just reward. And karma is not even delaying. True story, guys. These days, this is not the best time to just be randomly mean to people, especially people who try their very best to be good or to be affable or agreeable. Because karma is a marching like a full speed ahead. Karma is on a quick march. And she's rewarding people real fast. People do something bad. Karma steps in and puts them right back in their place as quickly as possible. So whoever's been mean to you, this person I feel who hasn't given you the love that you needed, has been very sneaky, elusive, and their cups are all emptied out of love and affections for you. Karma is about to step in and set that balance right and bring in that balance to where it needs to be. Environmental factors that will help you or hinder you on this leg of the journey in the month of March and going forward, you're getting a new job. New contract, new source of money, new things. Wow, Sagittarius, you're definitely on a roll. So, wish has come true. 
New bounty is rolling in for you. You're standing your guard and defending yourself and saying, no, with all due respect, uh, you can't hold me back. That's just not an option. And uh, you're, you're rolling with the punches. You're de you know, deflecting and bobbing and weaving. You know, like with, with boxing or catabox, bob and weave. You're bobbing and weaving and, and avoiding the, the players from the past who suddenly recognize just how shiny you are. And all the rumors as well, you've kind of like ignored that. You know, their words, their lies, their rumors, their criticism of you was not enough to hold you down. It just wasn't enough to hold you down or hold you back. It's almost like every time they, these people, these haters or frenemies, whoever they are, whether it's family, friends, acquaintances, associates, or people you hardly even know, people who just know you through someone else who knows you, whatever they've done has put you on a higher pedestal each time. Each time they attack you, Spirit raises you higher. Each time they attack you, spirit raises you higher. So it's been a very beautiful energy for you and it's still rolling on. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be interested in you, Sagittarius. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, wait, what's that video? It's like watching reels on Instagram. Then you're like, wait, what's that? I need to watch that. Who is that? Let me see some more about this person. It's kind of like that energy where people are doing a double turn and looking back at you and noticing you. And a lot of people want to get with you. So it's the exes, this new people and stuff like that. I also feel Sagittarius that you're going to continue on a path looking for spiritual um, advice so you get to help you make the best decisions for the future. I do that at times. Also, I've, I've got a couple of readers that I'll watch on uh, on YouTube and Instagram, and I'll watch them. And I know that their messages are genuine, they're heartfelt, they're coming from a good place, a good space of love and light. And I get guidance as well. You know, you know, culture say you know, a healer can't heal themselves. You need another uh, balanced healer to come through for you. Chapter's finished. You know, you're done with the fighting. We had a nine. Now we've got a ten. Then we have an ace. Then we have the most fortunate card coming through, the star. So you're done with the drama, done with the fights. You're ready to put your guns down. That cycle's done and finished. And you realize, you know, a lot of these burdens I've carried are not even my own burdens. They're other people's burdens. New things are coming in for you. And the stars are shining down on you. And you're becoming a star for a couple of you. Let's get some oracle cards for you. Spirit, angels, guides, fairies, ancestors. What does my darling Sagittarius need to know? Thank you. You are safe and you're protected. You may have felt a little unsafe or scared or insecure lately, maybe because of all the rumors and stuff like that. I'm being told to say threats for some of you, it was even threats, or some of you are moving home. Okay, that almost wanted to flip over. But anyway, you're safe and you're secure and you're protected. You have nothing to worry about. Don't give fears outside of yourself more power than they actually deserve. Stand your ground. That's what came out here. No, the other one here. Stand your ground. Don't concede any ground that you've already gained or any support you've garnered already. Don't move back on that. Stand, st stand firm and just stand with your decision. The first decision you made was valid. The decisions you've made of the people you're carrying forward and what you're leaving back and what feelings you're leaving uh, in the past as well, that was solid. Spirit is saying your first decision was valid. You're on the right track. People are going to try and uh, talk you out of your decision like, oh, there's not the done thing. Don't you think you'd have taken another route? And you're like, yeah, yeah. I appreciate your concern, but I'm moving forward because I'm raising my standards. The standard I was surviving at, that was not my proper life because each and every person knows the real life that they're supposed to be living. No joke, okay? Eh? And you found that out and you're like, you know what? Universe, I deserve more. I'm a star. I, I'm a celebrity for some of you. I, I, I'm, I, I'm growing big, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a big name. I'm a big force to reckon with. And I'm not going back for anyone. I'm not going to continue to act like I'm short just so that the, the, the other shorter people can feel a bit more comfortable. This is my height and I'm standing tall. <laughs> I like that. I wish someone write a song yeah, with those words. And your problem has been solved. Whatever problem you are worrying about, Spirit is saying it's been solved, it's done. There's a happily ever after coming in for you. So it's looking up for you, really. It's really, really good for you, Sagittarius. Sag, my darling, passionate, hard-working Sag, I absolutely enjoy the energies that picked up in your reading. I wish you love and I wish you light. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please uh, check out my details in the description box down below. Give my video a big thumbs up. That's how you support my channel and help my channel to grow. When you give me a thumbs up, when you subscribe, and when you book your personal readings with me. 
And um, I look forward to doing the next readings for you. Perhaps you weren't even a Sag, but you're intuitively drawn to this message. I, I enjoyed your energies that I picked up as well. You know yourselves, guys. My soul tribe is always attracted to my readings. Yes, you're the right person. Yes, you're meant to see this message. It's no coincidence. Take good care of yourself and your loved ones until we meet again.